This is the Mark 7. This is possibly the greatest truck ever designed and ever made. It is that good. Unfortunately, this truck is extremely difficult to assemble, which means it is not, I have, I have made a pair. Um, it's gonna get used once, but I don't think we're gonna use it more than this once. It's just too hard to put together. It is amazing. And I have a feeling that when we put this on a frame, so, so now that we've raised up the gear tower, we'll be able to put a motor on there and the worm with no problem. And and it will be it'll be high enough. And we'll we'll have good clearance for our drive shaft. But here's the thing. Uh copper strip that we make this guy super easy to make but very difficult to get it to uh, stay in place I have not glued it I'm thinking I'm just gonna super glue it and it'll stay fine for this pair um, but I got to put a lot of weight on it to get it to go because the copper strip slips without me gluing it other than that, this one, let's zoom in a little bit more. So this one represents, this represents an extraordinary breakthrough. And the reason why you could never have one like this in the real world is because no one could ever make it and afford to put it together. So we've got the screws to hold the pieces together. And we've got the gears with a thrust washer on each side that I 3D printed. It's great. We have, now we have two gears coming up here. Two gears coming up with the worm to go on top. And the reason why I say this is a problem is it's really hard to get all of the gear axles in place. And the gear axles are floating. So there's a hole, the axle goes in there. On one, on the back side, I have super glued some uh, plastic. Let's see if I can show you a piece. This, uh, this pl plastic here, uh, like that, okay. Some plastic bubble wrap type stuff that I just cut apart and then it's super easy to super glue it on here. And then I'll be able to do that on the bottom and hold everything in place. These axles can actually float up and down. So they'll be really good for bad track work. They should be great. I may have to make the, I may have to make this part wider and, and just by a thousandth or two so that I can get more free play in it. But it's this is an amazing truck. It's, it's unbelievable. Fortunately, I've only got... I can make this one and its mate. I can make one other set. And then I'm going to get some... get some more axles from a friend and... I'd be able to make one more set after that, and that'd be it. This thing is really, really hard to put together. And that's why it's, it's, it's probably going to not work. And I've already got the Mark 8 version. The Mark 8 version is already designed. It's going to be similar to this. And because I use small gears here, this thing's going to be really fast. Now, that's not a problem. Because we can take some larger gears, which we have right here. We can take some gears like this. And put one of those in place of the two of these. If we want to get, if we want to slow it down. We can do that. But that's where we're at. Um, this one's great. It's fantastic. But it's just really hard to put together. 
and uh, but once it's together this is really an amazing piece right here it works it's fantastic it's just too hard to assemble so we got to do something and uh, the next something is the mark 8